The story of Robin Hood. It was a quiet night in Sherwood Village, yet someone was creeping through the dark. From his window, Jack Fletcher watched his shadowy figure flit from roof to roof. It's Robin Hood, he whispered. Jack longed to meet Robin Hood. The famous outlaw, famous outlaw, outlaw who robbed from the rich to give to the poor. That night, Robin Hood left purses by villagers' doors, filled with glittering gold coins. The very next day, the sheriff of Nottingham rode into the village. Give me your money, he barked, or I'll have you arrested. The king was overseas, so now the sheriff thought he could do whatever he was pleased. Jack hated the sheriff of Nottingham. When no one was looking, he scooped up his horse bag and hurled it flat in his face. The sheriff went red with rage. Arrest that boy! He spluttered. Run, Jack! His father cried. Jack fled into Sher- Sherwood Forest. His heart was pounding and tears trickled down the street. His, t- his cheeks. From the safety of the forest, Jack saw soldiers dragging his father away. He was being arrested and it was all Jack's fault. Branches creaked and groaned as grass as Jack stumbled into the deep into the forest. A hidden lone rider appeared between the tangled trees. Jack re- recognised her at once. It was Lady Marion, the king's cousin. I'm lost, Jack sobbed, and my father's been arrested. Marion smiled at him. Don't worry, she said. I know someone who can help. They rode to a clearing in the forest with a circle of huts around a crackling fire. Four outlaws hid amongst the trees. I'm Will, I'm Will Scarlet, said the first mining on his own branch. I'm Little John, said another rubbing his bushy red beard. Jack already knew who the fourth man was. Robin Hood, he gasped. Will you help me rescue my father? And my name's Friar Tuck, said the third with a cheery way. Robin led Jack back to the village. Your father is held deep inside the sheriff's castle, he said. And the castle is a dangerous place. We must wait until the time is right to rescue him. So Jack learned to live like an outlaw. He robbed, like, he robbed from the rich and gave to the poor. Robin's gang taught him how to fight with a sword. Take that! He learned how to fire arrows with skill and speed. Jack loved being part of Robin's gang, but he couldn't forget his father locked up in Sheriff's Castle. One day, while Robin and Jack were alone in the hideout, Marion came charging up. The village is on fire! she cried. The villagers wandered among the smoky ruins. It was the sheriff's soldiers, they told Robin. They captured the rest of your gang. It's time to fight back, Robin declared, flourishing the sword. In the dead of the night, Robin and Jack snuck up to the sheriff's castle. Suddenly a door burst burst open. Guard lunged at Robin, whirling their swords. Steel blades and clashed and clans. Clashed and clans. Robin twisted and twirled, driving the guards back into the castle. But there, there were but there were too many guards with too many swords. I've got you now, smiled the sheriff of Nottingham. Just then the castle gate flew open. Marion and villagers stormed, villagers stormed inside. Charge! they shouted, and a fierce battle began. Jack and Mary Ewan raced down to the castle giant dungeon to free their prisoners. Father! Jack cried. Jack's father scooped him up in a big hug. Hooray for Jack! The, pris- the prisoners cheered. He saved us all! But the fight wasn't over yet. Back in, the, back in the hall, the sheriff refused to send surrender. You can't stop me, he growled. 
No, boom the voice from the castle then chief. But I can. You're back, Marion cried, as the king strode into the castle. He tried to run away, but Jack tripped him up as he tumbled, tumbled headlong into the dark dungeon. Silently, Robin, Robin and his gang slipped away into the sheriff wood. Robin Hood, Jack called, will I ever see you again? You will, the outlaw replied, whenever you need me. The end.